Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 people who had extreme surgeries. So these are people who no longer even look human because of their insane surgeries. And guys, be warned, if you're easily weirded out, then good luck because I couldn't even believe some of these at first. But these people actually did these extreme surgeries. So definitely drop a like if you enjoy. Let's aim for 8,000 likes on this video because it really does help me out. So coming in at number 10, we have Snake Man. So we're starting off with a really weird one. And basically this guy's called Eric Sprang and he's from Kentucky in America. And he always wanted to be in a freak show in a circus just like in the olden days and to be honest I didn't know they still had those things I thought way too many people would get triggered and it would be banned but apparently they still do this and Eric wanted to join so bad so he got an insane amount of body modifications which include sharpening his teeth to look like a snake or a lizard tattooing his full body totally green in the shape of scales cutting his tongue in half to look like a snake's tongue injecting green ink into his lips and something called subdermal implants which are basically like rocks implanted into your head and apparently he wanted to get a tailor's well, but he couldn't because he said that's impossible. I mean, damn, I'm surprised that that's not possible for him to do, but he could do all of the other crazy stuff. And this guy made his appearance into a job because he now does performances in real life and in TV and circuses all over the world. And this guy got pretty famous for a big appearance on the documentary called Modify in 2005. And here's the funny part. He's in a rock band called Lizard Skinner, just like Leonard Skinner. So yeah, guys, this one is so insane and I just had to put him on this list. But coming up next, we have Dogman. So this is another guy who really wanted to be an animal. So in 2004, this guy called Rodrigo from Brazil gave doctors an unknown sum of money to basically become a dog. And I guess he used some dodgy doctor because I doubt most doctors would really do this. So basically what he asked him to do was transplant some areas of a dead dog's face and attach them to his by sewing them on. And he didn't get the whole dog's face, but he did get the dog's muzzle, the skin around the dog's eyes, and the dog's ears sewed onto the back of his so he could still hear. And a ton of animal rights groups were so pissed off because Rodrigo used a dead dog to do this and they thought he killed it, but it turns out he got the dead dog from an animal shelter and they'd already killed it because nobody wanted to adopt it. So I guess at least he didn't kill the dog but it is still really weird that he did this to an actual dog. And I did have to censor some images of the surgery but a lot of photos were taken during the surgery. I guess to record the event because it's so weird. And apparently this guy's known as Dog Man where he's from in Brazil. I mean personally I would find that kind of a diss but I guess if you want to look like a dog so much maybe it's a compliment. Well it's a good thing I'm not a dog. <laughs> So coming up next is Vampire. So this one is really weird and probably one of the creepiest ones on this list. And this one here is definitely the scariest one. So this woman called Maria from Mexico was from a deeply religious family, but for some reason in 2012, she wanted to look like a kind of satanic vampire. So she had extreme surgery to get fully covered in tattoos, fangs in her mouth, and even titanium horns inserted into her head. And this scared a ton of people, and apparently people cross the other side of the street if they see her. And to be honest, guys, I don't mean to be mean or anything, but I probably would too. And this woman is is a mother of four. So imagine if your mum one day just came up to you and was like, uh, how should I put this? I'm gonna become a human vampire. But yeah, she paid a ton of money for this and apparently the titanium horns in her head cost $2,000 alone. And believe it or not, she's actually a lawyer. But I doubt she's gonna be winning many cases looking like that. I mean, would you guys trust a vampire to stop you going to jail? But coming up next, we have Superman. So I'm sure as kids, you guys wanted to be superheroes, right? Well, this guy who's now 38 still wants to be Superman. And he spent 19 years trying to look like Superman using plastic surgery. And he's had over 24 surgeries to do this. He's had liposuction to get thinner, a nose job to make his nose look bigger, skin whitening to make him look paler, and fillers to change his shape. And this guy's called Herbert, and he's from the Philippines, and he's spent more than 300,000 pesos to do this. But for some reason, he still doesn't think he's finished, and he wants more surgery. But now the doctors are turning him down, because they found out that Herbert had injected himself with ab fillers. And he just bought them off some website, not a doctor, so it turns out they're poisonous. So I know Superman's weakness is usually kryptonite, but maybe this this guy's his ab fillers. And this guy doesn't just look like a superhero to show how much he loves superheroes. He also has over 6,000 items all about Superman, like action figures, comic books, and other stuff. And I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I don't remember Superman having eyes that blue, lipstick, and fake tan, but yeah. Other than that, he's pretty similar. So coming up next, we have Justin Bieber. Now this one is really weird. And you guys might think this guy's really strange, but don't be too nasty to him because there's a really bad twist at the end of the story. So this guy's called Tobias, and he's from Germany, and he's actually a singer, but in 2000. 12, he spent $100,000 to look like his favorite singer, Justin Bieber. And remember guys, in 2012, Justin Bieber was only 19, so that's why he doesn't look like Justin Bieber now. And he had around 19 surgeries to do this with hair transplants and skin injections, all to make him look younger than he actually was, because at the time, he was 31 years old. And he also had something called smile surgery, so that he could have a wider smile, kind of like Justin Bieber does. And because of these surgeries, he couldn't open his mouth for a month, and he couldn't open his eyes for two weeks. And he got really famous from the reality TV show called Botched, which was 
on about crazy plastic surgeries, but here's the really crazy and sad twist to this story. Basically, in 2015, Tobias was found dead because he'd had an overdose on painkillers, and apparently it was a boyfriend he'd just broken up with, and because of that, he was really depressed. So yeah, his body was found in Motel 6 in California in America, and obviously, it's really sad that he died. But coming up next, we have Barbie. So you guys have probably heard of the expression human Barbie, which is like when people want fake boobs and wear loads of makeup to look like Barbie. But this Ukrainian woman called Olga took this to a whole nother level. She's a model and she has the same hairstyle, makeup and even clothing as Barbie dolls. And apparently her job is also to deliver spirituality lectures for around $50 per session. I mean, I don't know how looking like Barbie qualifies for her to do that, but okay. And she also does photo shoots and appearances at parties because she looks so much like Barbie and some people are actually concerned about her crazy obsession to become Barbie, but she says the surgery is completely healthy and so many people actually think she's faked or photoshopped or whatever, but no, she is totally real. I mean, I know her looks are just surgery and makeup, but apart from that, she is totally real. And even though she says she's healthy, I'm not too sure because I don't think you're supposed to be that thin. I mean, shit, even Barbie dolls aren't even that thin. But coming up next, we have Ryan Gosling. And as you might have guessed, this isn't actually Ryan Gosling, but this is an actor or at least someone who wants to become an actor called Nicholas Ryan. And he's from New Jersey in America. And Ryan Gosling is basically his idol. And he wanted to be like him so much that he spent $6,000 on surgery to look exactly like Ryan Gosling. And he said the reason he did this was firstly to make it big in Hollywood and also to get a lot more girlfriends. Well, I don't know about the girlfriends one, but I don't get the whole making it big in Hollywood thing. I mean, surely if a big movie wanted someone who looked like Ryan Gosling, they'd just get Ryan Gosling. But yeah, the surgery took over four hours and usually involves fillers and Botox to get the face shape just right of Ryan Gosling. And guys, I know Nicholas got plastic surgery to look like Ryan Gosling to make it big as an actor, so I've decided to get plastic surgery to look like PewDiePie so I can become the biggest YouTuber ever. And according to my doctors, this is what I'm going to look like afterwards. <laughs> So coming up next, we have French Doll. So believe it or not, this is a model called Vanilla who's actually Japanese, even though she looks white. And if you didn't already guess, no guys, Vanilla is not her real name. And if you guys see how she looked before compared to how she looks now, obviously it's an insane change. And she's had over 40 plastic surgeries, which cost her over 11 million yen or $120,000. And she says she wants a Western look, which is basically to look white instead of Asian. But ideally, she says she wants to look like one of those old French dolls. And I have to admit, she kind of does look like one. And she's had double eye surgery, nose jobs, and skin whitening, but the surgery that she's planning to have soon is even crazier. So you guys know that usually Asian people are shorter than people from the western world. Well, Vanilla wants to get around this by having height lengthening surgery, which is basically to make you taller by surgery. And don't even ask me how the hell you do that because I had no idea this even existed. And she's got a ton of media attention in Japan for this, and that's gained her Instagram account over- and that's gained her Instagram account over 40,000 followers, so who knows, maybe she'll become a really famous model. But anyway, coming up next we have Ken. So this guy is from New York in America and he's kind of like Olga who wanted to be Barbie But this guy's basically like the male version of that. That's right guys This man wants to be a real-life Ken doll and I know the Barbie woman had like 60 plastic surgeries And I know that is a lot, but that's nothing compared to this guy because this guy whose nickname is the human Ken doll has over 190 surgeries and he was inspired when he was a teenager by this show called Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous Where this millionaire got plastic surgery to be slimmer and then when he was 16 He wanted to get surgery to look like Ken from Barbie, but his his parents got really pissed off about this and they wouldn't let him have the surgery so he had to wait until he was 18 so he could make the choice himself and just four days after his 18th birthday he already got a nose job and he's now 36 and he's had almost 200 surgeries including chest implants soldier implants bicep implants brow shavings cheek lifts lip enhancements and calf implantments and obviously a ton of other stuff I mean damn he's just 36 and he's had over 190 surgeries over just 18 years that's over 10 surgeries per year and I'm sure you guys are all asking the question is Justin in a relationship with Olga the real-life Barbie and no guys this guy's actually gay and he has a husband so he's not too much like Ken with Barbie but if he wasn't gay and he went out with the real-life Barbie that would be insane it's about wraps up this video check out the poll in the top right corner and you guys can vote for the most shocking surgery for me it was the snake man just because who would actually cut their tongue in half but as always thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already what are you waiting for subscribe